Uh, I'm Chen Huang from the Chinese University of Hong Kong. Today I'm going to talk about the learning of the feature representation for imbalance classification. So data imbalance is very common in vision classification. Here we take for example the binary classification of face attributes of people wearing hats or not. As we can imagine that there are usually many more images of people not wearing hats than wearing hats. So actually the the class of but positive class of wearing hat is actually treated as the minority class. So our goal is to directly learn the feature embedding to benefit the imbalance classification. So traditional deep embedding methods just operate at the class level. An example is the triplet embedding that ensures the within class distance is smaller than the between class distance. And this actually squeezes every single class homogeneously into a small neighborhood. But the problem is that when the classes are highly imbalanced, it's much more difficult for us to, to class those majority class with large data variations. So we propose to sample the quintuplets at both the class level and also the cluster levels. So by ensuring this new distance relationship, we are actually squeezing those more homogeneous clusters and also keep the marginal clusters around the classification boundaries well separated. So in other words, we are actually drawing the local classification boundary that only depends on the marginal clusters, but not on the other, other irrelevant contents. This makes us our local classification boundary more resistant to the class imbalance. Also, we study the resampling and cost sensitive learning schemes in our approach. So this is our network architecture. We perform the we perform the equal class resampling in the mini batch and also assign the class costs when the sampling is not so strictly equal. So for the every single sample in the mini batch, we retrieve the quintuplets and we can calculate their feature vectors. The vectors are finally subject to a new triple header hinge loss to ensure the before mentioned distance relationship. So this is our how our training step looks like. It's very simple actually. It alternates between the clustering to generate the quintuplets and also using the quintuplet to update the features. And this makes us come to a well cluttered feature embedding and we can just perform the classification by only using the cluster-wise KN search, which is very fast. And it's very more is more resistant to the class imbalance by applying the large margin rules. We test our approach on the face attribute dataset. It has 40 attributes and each is highly imbalanced. And we as we evaluate, we uh, adopt both the total accuracy and balanced accuracies. So the table shows that our approach in terms of two metrics can outperform the traditional triplet and also the state of the art ANET method. This, uh, this figure shows that uh, shows the overall uh, relative games across all the face attributes. We can see that the more imbalanced the attribute, the more games we tend to have. And in conclusion, we propose to a method to learn the feature embedding for imbalanced classification. And we better sample the cluster and class-wise quintuplets to preserve both the local locality across clusters and discrimination between the classes. And we can only perform the classification using the class-wise can search. Thanks.